Hi everyone, this is Indra. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about construction of parallelogram. Uh, and the condition is uh, when the base side and the length of the um, diagonals are given. And here also given that the angle between the diagonal and the base side is also given here. This is the condition. Condition is um, diagonal base side and the angle between the diagonal with the baseline are given. Here I have taken one example. Mm, please watch this video till the end so that you will be very clear about this uh, construction of the parallelogram. Here, first of all, let me read the question. Construct a parallelogram having the length of the five centimeter. Here the uh, length of the base is just five centimeter. This is the length of the base and the length of the diagonal is also given here. The length of the diagonal is here. Uh, given as the 6 centimeter and the angle made by the diagonal with the base is here 30 degree. Uh, while constructing the parallelogram in this situation, so we have to first make the baseline. Here the baseline is 5 centimeter long. Okay, first of all, let me draw the baseline which is 5 centimeter long here. Let me take the ruler here. Okay, this is the ruler. We have to first uh, make the baseline uh, let me make the baseline it is 5 centimeter okay let me draw a line of the 5 centimeter length from 0 to 5 okay this is the baseline here the name of the parallelogram is not given we can take any name let me name this uh, baseline as the AB Let's say this is uh, A and this is the point B. The baseline is here, A, B, just it is here, how much? Uh, this is five centimeter, this is five centimeter long. Let me mark the in points, in points A and the B also. This is in point A, okay, let me mark. This is the point A and this is the point B. Here, the base line, the baseline is here uh, made. This is the, here named as the AB, which is five centimeter long. This is the very first step. And let's make a diagonal. Uh, and the diagonal makes an angle of 30 degree with this baseline. Okay, uh, so second step is making the angle, which is made by the diagonal with the baseline. And the angle is here 30 degree. Let me take the compass here. I'm going to make the 30 degree angle by using the compass. We have to put the needle of the compass at one point. Here I have taken the point A. We have to take more than half arc. Okay, uh, let me rotate it. I'm going to make an angle of 30 degree at the point A. Okay, with the same adjustment, with the same arc, we have to cut uh, this arc. Okay, let me cut this. Okay, here mistakenly, uh, here it is not properly caught. Let me remove this part. Okay, and let me rotate the compass once again, and then I will cut that arc. Okay, let me cut this here. One time cutting means just 60 degree angle is formed. This point is the point of the 60 degree. What we need here, uh, how much degree? only 30 degree so the 30 degree lies between 0 degree and 60 degree we can take we can enlarge this compass okay uh, let me rotate and from 0 degree from 0 degree and 60 degree we have to cut and the angle between 0 degree and 60 degree is just 30 degree let me cut here and let's cut this R from the point of the 60 degree. This is the point of the 60 degree. Let me cut this R. Okay. Let's cut this. And this is this point is just the point of the 30 degree. Let me mark the point. Okay, this point is the point of the 30 degree. 
and this let's connect this point to the point a uh, let me use the ruler to connect uh, these two points just uh, joining these two points let me connect them we have to just uh, we have to just join these two points very straightly okay let me join this by using this okay this line we can take the any length first okay and this is the second step the second step is just making an angle of 30 degree uh, made by the diagonal with the baseline this angle is just the angle is just here the 30 degree let me write here this is just 30 degree okay here the angle 30 degree is made by the this diagonal this is going to be diagonal diagonal with the baseline and here the length of the diagonal here the length of the diagonal is given six centimeter so let me cut let me mark um, this diagonal's length okay let me measure six centimeter long okay from zero to six we have to or from zero to six this is six centimeter okay by taking the six centimeter arc we have to cut from this point a because our diagonal is just six centimeter long so we have to mark at the six centimeter point okay let's this is the point okay let me mark the point Now this point, this point represents. It is the uh, this uh, this is the length of the diagonal. Let me mark this point. This point, and this is total. Let me name this point. This is the A B, and let's say this is C, and the point C. It is the vertex C of the parallelogram, which is going to be from this point. And uh, here we have made the length of the diagonal. We have completed uh, the diagonal, which uh, which is formed here at a 30 degree with the baseline. And the th uh, this is the second step. And the next step is just joining these points B and C. Let's join these two points B and C by using the ruler very straightly. We have to make the line very straight just connecting these two points b and c okay here in this step we have just connected these two points b to c and the next step after this is just making the opposite sides parallel and equal okay and we have to take the same uh, length is the a b okay let me uh, take the arc of a b okay we have to take the same length as the a b and we have to cut uh, from this point c to make the opposite side equal okay taking the arc as a b okay and by uh, from this point c we have to cut let me cut here okay let me cut here in the space okay this point this arc here and we have to uh, cut the same this arc this arc from this point a by taking the same arc is the cb okay let's take the same arc as the cb okay, we have to put this needle at the point b let me measure the cb first okay let's me measure the cb okay We have to take the same arc as the CB. Okay, this is the arc as the CB, and we have to cut, uh, cut this arc. We have to cut this arc from this point A. Let me cut this. Okay, this is the arc. Here, this is the second arc. We have to cut these two arcs. Okay, here is the little bit complicated so let me measure again 
AB and then we have to call uh, from the point C. Let me measure AB again. Okay. Okay, let me measure the AB again. This AB. Let's cut from this point, point C, okay, to this R. Just cutting. Okay, here this is the point of the intersection here. Okay, this is the point of the intersections. Let me mark the point of the intersections. First of all, let me drag it. Okay, this is the point. Let me mark the point of the intersections here. This is the point of the intersections. Okay. And uh, the final step, the final step is just connecting these uh, remaining points. Okay. Let's connect C to this next point. And we can name this uh, next point is the D. Okay, let's connect this. This point to point C. Okay. And we have to connect these points also. Okay, let me uh, rotate this ruler. Let's join these two points. Okay. These two points. Here, a parallelogram is formed. Let's name it. Let me take the ruler. Okay. Here, a parallelogram is formed. Uh, let me name this fourth vortex. Okay. This is the just vortex d okay here a parallelogram a b c d is formed here okay this is the point d here a parallelogram a b c d is form finally formed here uh, the steps let me revise the steps first of all we have to make uh, the baseline and then we have to make an angle made by the diagonal with the baseline and then we have to cut for the diagonal length of the diagonal and then from that point we have to cut uh, to find the next two sides from this point by by making the opposite sides equal in the parallelogram okay this is all about uh, the construction of uh, the parallelogram in these situations in our next video we will discuss more about such type of the problems please keep watching keep loving this channel this much for today thank you